I recently had a request from Becky Stollard on YouTube who was interested in finding out uh, how the chicken coop bedding was going. We released a video a while back where um, I was using dried tree leaves for chicken coop bedding and she was wondering how that was turning out. And reading her comment kind of reminded me that it's probably about time to get out here and refresh our chicken coop anyway. So I figured I'd do a quick update while I was at it. Now it had been about two or three months since I'd last come out here to put some dried leaves down and the floor had gotten pretty bare. It doesn't take long for this to turn into this. This would probably be a really good garden compost material. As far as uh, whether or not the leaves worked, for me, they worked really, really well. In that last video that I posted, uh, when I came into the chicken coop at first, it smelled bad and there were flies everywhere. After I put the, the leaves down for the bedding, almost immediately the flies dispersed. It took maybe a day or two and then they were gone and the smell was 1000% better. And aside from that, the chickens seemed to love it also. They really liked, um, scratching around in all the leaf litter and looking for bugs and things like that. So I think they really enjoyed it. And also, with just our four birds, we've kind of adopted an open door policy here lately. Uh, these chickens are completely free roam, free range. They do whatever they want to do. They fend for themselves. Uh, we, I, I don't even feed them out here anymore. I bring compost out and they'll eat off of that and they'll range around and find their own food. Uh, they are a complete hands-off flock. And because the chickens really love scratching around in the leaves so much, they kick a whole bunch of it out the door, especially since we have our open door policy. So on the ground outside, along the, right outside the entrance to the door and for a pretty wide area there, you can see where they've kicked all of this stuff out. Now I'm not complaining, this is gonna be really good compost stuff. But it does kind of mean that you have to refresh the coop a little more often maybe than you otherwise would. And again, I don't know how that would scale up if you had a larger flock. But the best thing about using tree leaves as chicken coop bedding is the fact that it is a free resource and they are everywhere. Like you can drive around a, a city neighborhood in an afternoon you can pick up truckloads of pre-bagged leaves all you gotta do is bring them home and dump them out in your chicken coop. So Becky, to answer your question, if you are looking for a good, cheap, free coop bedding that your chickens will love, I definitely think dried leaves are worth a try. Like I said though, we've only used them with a very small flock, four birds, and they really don't spend a lot of time in the coop. Um, and even then, I noticed that the leaves don't last a super long time. So I don't know how, uh, don't know how it would work out with a large flock. If you have a large flock and you decide to try it out, let us know how it turns out for you because I would like to know. I, I want to get some more chickens sometime in the near future and I'm interested to see how the leaves turn out there too. But thank you for the request and thank you to everyone watching this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, maybe learned a little bit of something. If so, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you'll know when to be back for more daily sustainable living.